Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flipline-visualeffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new after effects tutorial hope you are safe and unaffected by the global covid-19 crisis please stay at home and stay safe okay so today i'm going to create a logo animation using animation composer by mr horse okay so let's see what we will create today This video is made possible by Mr. Horse. It's time to take your video production to the next level. If you do professional motion graphics, or you shoot weddings, conferences, interviews, or you have a YouTube channel, this is a tool you absolutely need. Animation Composer is a free plugin for Adobe After Effects. It's a tool that helps you create animations like these in a few minutes. Animate your layers like a beast with adjustable animation presets. Add titles just like that. Animated illustrations, elements, backgrounds, overlays, and much more. People love it. You will too. Download Animation Composer for free and check out the other videos for tips and tricks. Okay, so let's get started. First, you need to download Animation Composer and you get some free preset as well. After installing Animation Composer, then simply go to Window, then click on Animation Composer. Let's place it into the right side. Now you can see I have divided this logo into three parts. One is the text, one is the helmet and one is the shield. Okay, let's animate the shield first. Hide these two layer, then select this layer and then go to animation composer. Here you can find all your preset, effects, elements, sound effects and much more. You can preview the preset by opening the folder one by one, like this. Or you can click this little preview button to see all the preset. Also you can filter here by their category. Ok, let's find a cool preset for our shield. You can see there are a lot of preset available here. Let's scroll down and I'm going to use this preset. As you can see, you can change the position of the animation as well. I am going with um, bottom one. Also you can choose in out or both animate option. In my case, uh, I am going with only in option. Then make sure your layer is selected. Then hit on apply. Now you can see that the shield is animating. You can adjust the animation duration using this mark, something like this. You can modify the animation as well. For this go to effect on rule panel and I am going to change the bounce amount to 1. Let's ramp view it. Looks good to me. Nice and smooth. Ok let's turn on motion blur. Ok now we are going to copy the preset from this layer. For this select this layer. Then go to Animation Composer, 
then click on copy then click on preset all then turn on visibility of this layer then simply go to animation composer and click on paste and ramp people with looks good to me okay now select this layer and then move it forward few frames something like this perfect okay now we are going to animate our text layer for this turn on visibility of this layer then select this layer then go to animation composer then open transition preset then click here to preview all the text preset i really like all the preset choose which one you like there are a lot of presets seriously I am going to use this preset simply select the preset and hit on apply okay now select this layer and drag it forward few seconds maybe one and a half seconds like this okay let's run people with whoa it's look really nice to me Okay, in animation composer, if you click on this little eye icon, then you can find some useful video tutorials. Let's see some of them. Select a layer and drag an item from the list to the right. To remove a transition, click the remove button. To adjust the duration of a transition, drag the marker on the layer. Or you can drag the end of the layer. You can do this this tool can quickly reposition the anchor point for selected layers. Select the pre-comp you'd like to add. Some pre-comps can be added with or without transitions, so select what you need and press the Add button. Or you can simply drag it to the right. Okay, let's close the window. Now we are going to add some 2D special effect. For this, select the pre-comp folder, then click on this preview button. And then here you can find a lot of cool stuff like uh, 2D special effect, animated icons, background, film making transition, shape element, shape transition, texture, lower thirds and many more. So basically in this animation I am going to use 2D special effect so let's open it. As you can see there are a lot of 2D special effect available here. Okay, let's scroll down and I'm going to use this fire effect. You can also change the duration if you want. In my case, uh, I need 5 seconds long. Then click on add. Okay, now select this layer and put it below all the layers. Then exit the start time by dragging the layer something like this then change the position behind the logo okay let's adjust the scale a little bit looks good to me Okay, now I am going to add another fire effect. Here it is, then click on add. Then select this layer and put it above the all layers. Then change the position to something like this. 
also adjust the timing looks good to me okay let's run pv with Let's adjust the timing of the text layer. Perfect. Okay, let's add some smoke effect. I am going to use this smoke effect. Then click on add. Then select this layer and put it above the all layers and drag it the beginning of this animation something like this then change the position to bottom of this composition something like this then drag it one or two frame forward okay let's ramp it with it which look really nice okay let's add a background for this I'm going to project window and then select this background and place it into this timeline and then press S then increase the scale amount to fit the footage into this composition now it's look really nice Okay, let's add a fire rate transition for this go to around 4 seconds. Then I am going to use this fire transition, then click on add. Drag it forward few frames, something like this. Then press S and then decrease the scale amount little bit looks good to me okay now select all the layers then press ctrl shift D to split the layer then press delete on your keyboard oops sorry do same with the background as well Let's close this window and our animation is complete. Press 0 to run PP with this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.